welcome to Swim Lesson Club USA. We are so excited to show you our bathtub swim class. I want you moms and dads to be able to practice the really important safety skills of swimming even when it's cold outside. So I want to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Seahorse. And Mr. Seahorse is going to help me teach our bathtub swim class today. And we are here in our, in our little bathtub pool. This is really neat. I can blow it up with a, with a, vat, with a I was able to blow this up and, and make my own pool. And I'm, even, I'm indoors and I don't even have to have a big pool. I have a little pool right here. So moms and dads, you can go in online and you can get a little inflatable swimming pool that you can practice just like this and it makes it a lot of fun i have a slide right here that it makes it a little bit more interesting for for your kids to be able to just be in the the water there's not very much water in this pool you can fill it up a little bit more but you don't need a lot of water to practice this really important safety skills of being able to go underwater and be comfortable and confident and, and to get all those worries to go away you can use a little pool for that you can use a little pool for practicing be able to get air out of your nose and keep your mouth closed singing to the fishes mm. you can practice that in, in just a very little bit of water and it and in just the water sensitivity issues that we have to work on with our with our kids you can do that right in your bathtub. So I'm going to show you how you do that. There's three very important skills to be practicing year round. If you can get into a swimming school right now, year round, that's exactly what you should be doing because you can keep that water exposure. You can get your kids to be able to, to be in the water and in a, the real buoyancy of a pool. That's better than a, a, a small pool. But if you can't do that, then you need to do some practice in your bathtub or get a little inflatable pool. So the, the so three skills that we have to really work on year round. You want to work on the water sensitivity, water on your face. You want to be able to work on being able to exhale underwater and take breaths. And you want to be able to get comfortable with how the water holds you. So in your little pool, you can get some cups. Our cups have holes in them so you can Fill it up and the water is going to drip right out of there, which makes it fun for the kids. One, two, three, and you're gonna pour, and you wanna pour it right on their face. And you do wanna do it on three because if you count to three, it's going to help them cue into that you want them to be ready for the water to go on their face. So it's a verbal cue. One, two, three, right on the face. One, two, three, right on the face. That's really important, but we want to do that even on our bellies because when you're on your belly, it feels a lot different than when you're sitting up. But first, you want to make sure that it's really easy to one, two, three, four, right on your face in the bathtub, and then you want to lay on your belly and you want to pour one, two, three, just like that. And, and then you want to work on being able to sing to the fishes. This is the skill of being able to exhale underwater so you can take a breath. If you don't exhale underwater, you can never take a breath. So it may feel like you're able to swim. It may seem like your kids are swimming because they're able to get from point A to point B, but if they're not able to get their air out, they won't be able to take a fresh breath. And that's not really safe. You want them to be able to exhale underwater, catch a cloud. And you can do that with the cups again. One, two, three. Okay, sing to the fishes. Mm -hmm. Catch a cup. And again, we want to be able to do this on our bellies. But first, we can do this sitting up. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Catch a cup. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Catch a cup. And then you also want to make sure you're pouring on their ears because they can develop a lot of sensitivity, not only to the water on their face, but also water on their ears and in their ears. So one, two, three. Pour. Got your ears. Good job. One, two, three. Pour. Just like that. And that's so very good. Okay, so we've practiced being able to get comfortable with the water on our face. We've been practicing exhaling underwater or with the water pouring poured on our face, exhaling, singing to the fishes, mm, catching a cloud. And now we want to work on how the water makes you feel. So you want to have your, your kids lay on their bellies in the bathtub in her little pool. Just like this. I don't fit really perfectly in this pool, but 
I imagine that your kids will fit better in this pool than I will. Now you want to do the same thing. One, two, three, pour on their face. And then one, two, three, sing the fishes. Mm. Catch a cloud. Mm. Catch a cloud. And then you want them to put their hands on the bottom of the bathtub and allow their bodies to float. And then do the same thing. Sing the fishes. Mm. Catch a cloud. Sing the fishes. Mm. Catch a cloud. If you practice this at home right now, then you're going to be able to make sure your kids are going to be more prepared when the water is warmer, and that's gonna happen pretty fast. So you wanna make sure that you're practicing year round, and you also wanna always work on the safety skills. So even when you're around the bathtub, make sure that they always wait before they get into the bathtub or into the little pool. You always wanna be counting one, two, three before you enter, and you, you wanna have a ritual as far as what, every time you go to a pool or any type of water environment that they understand that there's a, they have to first sit down and then wait for a cue, one, two, three, and then they can go into the pool or into the bathtub, and you always wanna make sure that they understand that they need to be with you. Always, constantly reinforce this, this is so important. Now, we have a course that has been developed to help you moms and dads be able to, to work on the elements of what it takes to get your kids to swim, this is, Two hours of everything that I have developed over the last 20 years of running swim schools. This, these are the secrets to get your kids to swim. It's extremely important that your kids learn to swim as quickly as possible. And it's very important that you're involved, moms and dads, that you are not just dependent upon an instructor to get your kids to swim, but you're learning how to work with your kids in the water, learning how to hold them properly when they're in the pools and in, in water environments, that they learn how to move around in the, in the correct position, allowing their bodies to float. And you, you wanna make sure that they're able to be very comfortable with water on their faces and going under water and, and be able to roll over on their back and, and have safety skills of returning to the wall. This, these are skills that you can help teach. And I want you to get the videos because I know that they're gonna help you. So I hope this has helped so you can have a bathtub swim class and be practicing these really important skills all year round. And soon, make sure that you, and also make sure that you, you become a member. It's free. I'm gonna be able to send you free videos. And we have a site that is developed with the parent in mind to have a, a way to get your kids to swim faster than ever before free videos, our courses are available there, and lots of tips and, and lots of, of, of help of even finding swim schools and, and, and really how you can be involved and help get your kids to swim as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for, for being involved with us and, and helping us to be able to make an impact. Drowning is still the leading cause of death for kids under the age of five all throughout the country and through the world. This does not have to be the case. We can do better. And I believe it starts with you, moms and dads, that you learn how to be able to be able to evaluate a swimming school and make sure you understand what to be able to expect from swim lessons and, and, and really how to be able to practice to get your kids to swim as quickly as possible. Kids really should start, babies really should be their first exposure. The first exposure that you should be um, the first exposure your kids should have is really when they're a baby. And that's whenever you're actually learning the fundamentals of how to hold your kids and how to get them comfortable with the water and the water in the face and the buoyancy. But that starts when they're a baby. You can condition the skills of returning back to the wall and safety skills. This starts really at six months. Find a really good swim school, get our course, and let's get your kids to swim. And thanks for watching. Our website is Swim Lesson Club USA. We also have a, a portal for our parents to be able to learn how to teach their kids swimming. That's at swimminglessonclubusa.com. We have more free courses and videos that are available, um, videos for qkids.com. All of these sites are available below. You can just take a look and you know get yourself an inflatable pool and get yourself some really cool 
pool toys, to be practicing water sensitivity, one, two, three pours, get a really cool toy your kids love, get some little toys that help them to be able to look underwater. Uh, these are great for that, being able to get them to look down. If you have something that they can focus on, it'll help a lot. So we have all these resources available below. Join us, join the club. Thank you for watching Swim Lesson Club USA.